What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I'm still kind of sick, but I want to start this one off at um, Chambers of Zarek because I'm still learning solos. I have finally figured out how to do solos without dying, dying on a pretty much consistent basis. I've done 24 raids since coming back and we're going to keep grinding them out. I really want to grind out and get the Tebow because if we look at our log, we don't really have much from Chambers of Zarek except for the pet five scrolls in the Kodai, which is my very first drop. And we have 195 KC. I'd like to maybe get up to 250 KC this episode. I'm really not too sure. Um, they made a lot of good updates to Chambers of Xerix while I was out, um, which really speeds up solo raids and team raids. You can um, you can do a lot of things in the raid now that just kind of helps make it easier. Quality of life stuff. So any of these items really will be beneficial for the account, like uh, Ancestral, the Tebow is really what I'm going for and Ancestral. Um, Dragon Claws too, but like I said, Tebow is probably going to be the main thing because I want to go back to TOA. But I don't want to go back until I get the Twisted Bow because we have almost full Missouri and I want the Shadow as well. So we're only missing two items from there. So I think we're going to grind out Chambers of Zeric, see how long we can grind this out. Hopefully we can get the Tebow, maybe get up to 1,000 KC, who knows. But I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Um, join my clan chat if you want to do some rage with me. I'm doing small, like solos and two and three mans um so if you're trying to figure that out too you can definitely feel free to join we'll eventually make it back to theater of blood we got nine kc uh, no items there but uh no rush to do that right now this is the ideal um uh, room layout we got to have muted dial or tecton just so we can get the overloads and then a bunch of other easy ones that we can do with range like tie rope shamans mystics ice demons all super easy we bring Fire Surge for Ice Team. It makes the, the room really quick. So this we will probably get to the end of the raid within like 15 minutes by the time we get to Ulm. So we can most most of the time do a solo within 30 minutes or less. So we'll go ahead and start this raid, see how long it takes. This is the gear setup we're rocking with right now for solos. We'll probably um, slowly add more gear as I get more accustomed to doing solos. Um, and um, I'll show you the inventory at the end of this raid so you can see what I go in uh, solo raid with. So... Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, this is the setup I'm going with. Um, I got a phone call in between <laughs> the raids, so it took a little bit longer. But we go in with four restores. We're not going in with the enhance. We're going to take a sip and then drop it. So these two will be replaced with brews. So we'll go in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brews. Four restores, two staminas, and an overload. That's the setup, guys. We're going to go in, and uh, hopefully we can get lucky today. Unfortunately, ending with 20,000 points, which isn't terrible. Better than like 10k points. <laughs> Got Blood Runes and Runite Ore. We go again. Wow, that was way better, guys. I was really patient there with the crystals, which I think really helped. We have almost five full brews left, which was really nice. 34k points on a solo. Really good. We are learning. Can we get lucky? Probably not. That's okay. Death runes and dynamite. Woo! That was close. Oh, all right. That was a no death raid. We'll take that. For the white lights, that's okay. Bangs and Addy Ore. All right, we did a scaled three man, almost 100,000 points. Hopefully we can see something unfortunate. Oh, I thought that was going to say that you have a funny feeling that you would have been followed because we do we do have the own pet. That would have been crazy. Something tragic happened in this raid. I thought I brought it um, a sand feud, but it was an energy potion. And so now I'm on the hunt for some food here. I've been using redemption to heal myself so i can make some freaking so i can make so i can make an anti poison in the raid for the last room so i don't die and lose all my points but i need some food to survive to do that and i'm hoping to get some bats there we go okay we're good for now i think that was the first time i've ever had to make an anti poison in uh chambers of Zarek since they came out that's uh <laughs> pretty crazy saw peter and avanto might be a new pb here we get it. Oh yeah, that's totally a PB. Twenty-seven minutes. Aw. Oh, we left it open, but uh no drop there. But that's a new PB. Twenty-seven minutes, twenty seconds on a solo. We are speed. You no, know, I was watching baseball. We just got a perfect ohm. I don't know how hard that is to get, but we just got it. 
So just looked up what a perfect ohm kill was, and basically it's avoiding all damage, firewalls, teleports, healing pools. And this is my only, maybe my only like sixth solo where I didn't do any um, suicide. So that's uh, pretty impressive. I'm pretty proud of myself for getting that done. Let's go. And our loot is land of dimes and silver ore. Coal and things. Dwarf weed and saltpeter. Always at least one troll item in there. Dragon arrows, not bad. 500k loot there. Hold on one day. Dwarf weed and teak blanks. Torn prayer scroll. Started the morning off with some temporos. We have 35 permits. Let's see if we can get lucky. And no luck this round. Worms and mahogany. One day we'll get a purple. Oh, we got an elite though. And some coal. First elite in all those raids, that's crazy. We are at 50 raids since we have been back to <laughs> been back to playing the game and I'm actually still kind of enjoying solo raids. They only take like 30 minutes or less normally and um, it's pretty chill. So I think I'm just going to keep grinding these out. No way. We got a purple guys. We got a purple. Oh my God. No way. No way. We finally got a purple. Finally got a purple. Okay, I don't even care if it's a dupe because I don't even know what we just got either, but this is our first solo purple ever on this account. Our last solo purple was on our main account. So this is our first ever solo on this account. Even if it's a dupe, I don't care. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that's okay. That is okay. We won't be mad about that because it's a dupe, but that's all right. Oh, Dexterous Prayer Scroll. We did a scaled three man, and we see the purple. Rats to him. No back to back purple, but we got a good amount of Snapdragons and Soul Food. Soul Food. <laughs> soul Runes. Oh, we just got a Tackle Box. Okay, at least that's something. I forget what we can put in here, but. I really want the fish barrel. That's why I'm here. No way. I just got a dragon harpoon. That is so rare. Oh my god. That is so rare. No way. A dragon harpoon. Looking at the drop rate right now. Is a 1 in 8,000. Which is the same drop rate as a pet. So we just missed out on a chance on the pet. That's pretty sad. No way, we got a purple. Let's go. I'm okay. Okay, okay, okay. So really right now, I just don't want a prayer scroll. That's all I I just don't want a prayer scroll. If I could get some ancestral, that would be nice. That would be nice. No! No, 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 another prayer scroll. Oh man. Sad game. So now if we look at the, the log. Two arcanes, two arcanes. Sad. No, bring it downstairs. Let's go, fish barrel while I was in Chick fil A. Let's go. Finally. One more. Nothing left, but finally, we're done with Temporos for now. Click the log. Sorry, my mouth is full. Missing the pet and the big harpoon fish. We are done for now. This is it. The last raid of the episode. We are at 100 KC. Well, we're not at 100 KC at raids, but 100 KC since we've been back to chambers. Well, basically since we come back to the game. We've done 100 raids, most of them being solos. Will the final raid be a collection log slot? Probably not. 
Ah. 34k points for the rune arrows and grimy area. If we look at the loot, 100 raids, two soloed arcanes, probably about um, maybe 10 of these raids were team raids, so we did about 90 solos. And these were the only two purples that we saw, so I learned a lot. Glad to be back. All right, so that is the end of the episode, guys. We did a lot, 100 chambers, did a lot of temporos. We got a dragon harpoon, the fish barrel, the tackle box, um, and I think we went to Curiara this episode, too, and got the armadillo chest chestplate. So there has been a lot of things that went on this episode. This is going to be really nice because we still do not have the fishing pet, the heron. So it's going to be really nice to do some AFK fishing and get our stacks up. And um, yeah, and I'm going to be doing a lot more raids, probably continue the solo raids. I really want to continue uh, chambers until we get the T-Bow and then go to Tombs of a Mask with the T-Bow because that just will be nice. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully we get that hair and pet. Let's go. Peace.